Hello! In this box, there are polo shirts with Electric Auto Association emblem, and I'm going to deliver it today to 17 different locations within New Jersey. Welcome! This is Stan Yarach from Central Jersey chapter of Electric Auto Association. I'm going to also transfer one of the Electric Auto Association flags to potential North Jersey chapter founders. And I'm going to deliver all of that with this 2017 Chevy Bolt. The whole route is almost 300 miles. Join me on this journey and let's see whether I can make it in one shot. So the vehicle was just charged overnight. Estimated range is 324 miles. I am light footed as is my wife. She's using most of the time. Let's go. The first destination is my former colleague Harsh. Uh, he's a wonderful guy. He doesn't have an electric car yet, but he, he's very excited about it. And uh, his next car will be, guess what? Electric. Most likely Tesla. Yeah. Okay, first delivery done. Nobody was uh, here. Actually, there was parents. So I, I could deliver. Let's keep rolling to the next destination. Okay, now my next destination, Mark Clark our core member uh, so i'm going from um, hillsborough to raritan see you there i have just arrived to uh, mark clark and look at this he has a nice solar canopy carport over his tesla can you tell us some details yeah so this is an 8.4 kilowatt system it's comprised of 28 panels 300 watt each um, it has a, a level two charger right here attached to it for my Tesla Model 3. Right, and it's all brand new, right? This thing. This is all brand new. It's in the final stages of being um, approved. Mm -hmm. um, and then it'll be turned on shortly. So I'm just uh, waiting. I mean, it's painful today. It's a clear clear day. It could be generating a lot of energy. So hopefully any day. You will generate lots of energy for years to come. Yes, yes. Cool, thank you. Very happy with it so far. Uh, you know, it's, it's providing one, one service here for coverage and now I just wanted to start generating some power, but look, very much looking forward to it. My next destination, um, John Sargent, Flemington. John is a member of uh, Central Jersey Electric Auto and he's an uh, uh, electric uh, vehicle owner for a number of years. He started with uh, Model S and now he, uh, he has a new model as a Model 3. Um, see you later. So we are at uh, John Sargent's house and look at those beautiful solar panels. Just like Mark Clark, he had a carport. Here we have a typical roof mounted. And uh, John, how do you like it? Oh, uh, it's great. It's been trouble free for what, almost six years. Six years. And you are making money. Yeah, I guess. I don't really think about it. <laughs> Wonderful. And the area is so beautiful as I was approaching um, the neighborhood. So in the garage, there are not one, but two Teslas. Model 3 and Model S. So John is a big fan of Teslas, am I right? Yep. <laughs> and there you go. Okay, now that I am done in Flemington, I will go to Plainsboro, where I need to drop one of those magnets to Anthony Cancro. They got a Nissan Leaf for the municipal township and they gave us a nice presentation, so I want to give him one of those magnets. Now, the temperature is 81 Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to turn on the AC because it's getting quite uh, hot inside. Okay, and uh, off we go to Plainsboro. I'm just passing by this solar farm. It's beautiful. That was the southernmost part of my township, Franklin Township. Oh, some residents wants to cross the road. Careful. Well, let's keep going. This... Oh, these are the charging stations at the Plainsboro Township. Beautiful. Just looking where is the leaf. And here we go. This is the Plainsboro 
municipal leaf. Great. I'm going to stick it on it. Okay, we delivered the sticker to Plainsboro Township. Now the next destination is Mike Baskin in West Windsor, I believe. See you then. We are off to the next destination, which is David Dragonetti in Shrewsbury. It's going to be a hike. I need to travel about 32 miles. It's still not the longest stretch today. Okay, I'll see you later. It's getting pretty hot. 90 Fahrenheit. I have to keep air conditioning. Uh, but the range holds up. Uh, I have 300 miles total. So that's pretty good. Here we have arrived to David Dragonetti. He's driving a Hyundai Ioniq electric, all electric. It's not the plug-in hybrid, it's all electric. And look at that, he's got solar panels too. That's right. Uh, I've got the solar panels for six years. Uh, we've had uh, the Ioniq uh, for a year now, it's a 2019. Before that we had a Nissan LEAF for three years. Um, we lease our vehicle, so every three years we'll probably okay. get another electric vehicle. Yeah. What do you plan for the next one? Uh, good question. I don't know. The, the, you know, we've got new models coming out, so there's a, there's a lot of consideration. I do have a reservation yeah. on a Tesla Cybertruck. Oh, we'll see. Wow. That could be later next year. Could replace our minivan. <laughs> Thanks, David. Thank and you. off to go to the next stop, Excellent. which will be, which will be. Jason Kaplan. See you later. So I just texted Jason that I'm coming, uh, but unfortunately he's not exactly at home. He's coming home, but he'll be coming about half an hour after me. And unfortunately I cannot wait because I have to go to the next stop and uh, I have to be in Maplewood at 2 p.m. So that's okay. Efficiency check. I'm approaching exit uh, to Route 18. Right now, my summation of uh, driven miles and remaining is uh, 301, so it holds very well. Uh, however, uh, Route 18, which is approaching, means uh, that I will have to increase my speed. But I'm not too worried. I think I have enough cushion to complete the trip today. So I'm about to exit from Route 18 after about 8 miles of driving. I didn't uh, drive with the full speed, I was uh, driving around 60 miles an hour. So I lost about 5 miles and the figure will change now. So I have just arrived at the next destination which is like 3-4 uh, miles after the exit from Route 18. And what you can see that now the summation is um, 300. It, it's like you know it's giving miles back and the reason is because it's adjusting for the driving style so anyway I'm going to drop off the shirt here you can see the charging station so definitely this is the right address okay so I'm now switching to the northern loop skipping one address in Milltown and the reason is that I'm really running, running late and also Milltown is very close to my home so I can make it if I'm lucky later today at the end or maybe tomorrow morning so my next stop is Ricardo Mendez he's the guy who designed these okay Central Jersey logo so off I go so it's 12:45. I'm hungry let's see what I got Sandwich. So I'm in North Plainfield. I am delayed because of traffic. Uh, I'm approaching the destination. Hopefully Ricardo will be at home. Here I turn left and he should be on the street. this one okay good so this is the house of Ricardo he was already here I gave him the shirt but he needs to bring his face mask so that we can take a picture Ricardo do you have electric car 
No, I don't. Not yet. Not yet. But your next car I will be electric. electric. Right. Yes, for sure. And this is the design by this man, Ricardo. Thank you for allowing me to design the logo. No, this is, uh, thank you for, for doing it. It's, it's wonderful. So now we'll take a picture. I was lucky Ricardo was at home. Now my next stop will be Caleb Cohen. He has electric car, he has Model 3. He maintains our website, uh, cjeaa.org. So I should be there in about 10 minutes, less than four miles. Okay, see you then. I have arrived uh, to Caleb. Uh, you can notice I don't have face mask. That's because Caleb called me that he's not at home. So what I'm going to do, I will drop the shirt front porch. But he said I can also go to the back. I'm curious. Let's go to the back. And he said, don't ring the bell because that will wake the dogs, two dogs. And, uh, and they will be crazy. Oh my God. Backyard. Anyway, I'm going to drop it in the shade so that the sun doesn't hurt it. So it's right here. Turn up the delivery and let's go. X destination, very close. 1.5 miles in Scotch Plains. Uh, Perkins family, Wells and Caroline, and they got T-shirt for their son, who is a member of. Uh, Electric Auto Association somewhere in the west. So let's go. Oh, I have to put in the gear. Anyway, I'll see you later. So I have just arrived to the Perkins family. It's a beautiful house. I got no response, so I'm not sure. So maybe they will be at home. Let me check. Let me knock on the door. I have two shirts for them as well as a magnet. Unfortunately, I was not lucky, so I left the shirts on the front porch. And off I go to the next station, Jason Mancini in uh, Westfield. It's uh, 3.4 miles. I'm already on my way. And uh, he texted me back that he is uh, he's at home. So this one looks good. See you there. So here is Jason Mancini car. It's actually from his wife. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so there we go. Another shirt delivered and we go to the next destination. See you there. Now, my next stop would be Woodland in uh, in Maplewood. This is the place where I'm going to meet Ken Jones from Northern Jersey Future Chapter. I'll give him the flag that we have that has been waiting for him for so many months. Uh, and this will be the kickoff for, for the start of the Northern Chapter. And we will get blessed. We will we'll have very important people present. That would be Tom Mulagany and Tracy Woods from Sustainable Jersey from the uh, green team in Maplewood. So off we go quickly. I have arrived to Maplewood and uh, 295. That's not bad. And I was just on uh, Garden State Parkway. And... Who is here? Everyone is here. We've got uh, Tracy, we've got Tom, Ken, hi, and Pete. So this is exciting. I just gave polo shirt to uh, Ken. He's going to put it on. I also give him some flyers to promote electric auto. And nice brochure. The electric car EV buyer's guide. This one is Juno, uh, released by Chris Allen from California. It's a good stuff. If you didn't subscribe yet, make sure that you subscribe. Let's take a picture and then we'll go to the flag. This is the flag by itself. When it's uh, unfolded, it's big stuff. You can come here. This thing. It's a drive-on anchor. It's very important. It's a windproof. It's the best thing. Oh, this is great. Yeah. So it just goes right in the ground. It and goes on the on the surface, and you drive you, you on drive it. over it. Drive on it, yeah. and yep. here comes the pole. Yep. yep. The pole. I'll give you right Perfect. right later. Awesome. Here, I didn't take it apart yet, but okay. it's a stick kind of. You can yeah, it's put a stain, it into the it's dirt. A, it's an incredibly fancy stick. It's like stainless steel. It's absolutely like surgical. Yes. Yeah. 
It's a, so. <laughs> yeah, and now. When it does go anytime the, the pole crowd. is collapsible. Very exciting. It comes in this. We've been talking about this for months. You've no <laughs> idea. Months and months. Uh, and uh, now we are going to put it together, and we'll show you how it looks like assembled. continue driving north, my next delivery spot is in Sussex, which is like 53 miles from Maplewood. And uh, unfortunately there is substantial component of highway driving and the range is quite hit. I have 104 miles remaining. I am 26 miles away from uh, destination and then I need to go home, which will be another 80 miles and on the way there will be one more uh, delivery spot in Chester. I will also make a decision whether to make a charging spot at Tom Malagany. So that's the battery of the car but unfortunately the battery of my phone, of, of this thing okay, that, this, that I'm using to record uh, is also dying slowly and bummer I forgot to bring the charging cord. The charging cord that I can plug here into the central panel of this car and I can charge it from the car. Yeah, it's faster. Yeah, I know. I go below limit, yeah. I'm now 50, 51 in a 55 mile zone. So uh, the range got hit by speed but also by the terrain being very hilly. So I have to go up and down, up and down. I'll report when I arrive in Sussex. Okay, so little problem. Instead of going to Red Oak Court, I went to Red Oak Road in Sussex and I'm 8.6 miles away. I have 90 miles left, not too bad, but my cell phone, 16%, is pretty bad, so just shut it. I've arrived to my most northern destination, 287. Miles. This northern section of Jersey is extremely hilly, plus I was making an unnecessary detour due to a wrong routing. But here we come, let's give it a try. This is the best that I can do. The porch is not protected enough, so I put it into your mailbox. I hope you will find it soon. Enjoy your polo shirts. Beep, 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 beep. My next destination is Dave. Think in Chester. See you then. Hey, how are you? Good, Stan. How about you? Good, good. So, good. this is your new uh, Electric Auto Association t shirt. And tell me about your electric car. Well, <laughs> This time next week, uh, we'll have a new Tesla 3 dual motor long range. Excellent, wonderful. Yeah. This is this is so exciting to hear. Yeah, it's exciting to is be this, happening. Is it your first electric car? <laughs> first full electric. We've had other hybrids. This is the first plug-in. Okay, that's great. Yeah. So, Dave was my last stop and I have like 10 miles extra in the battery. And this phone is running on the last drop of electricity. <laughs> it has less energy in percentage than the core. It had 6% before I turned on the video and it will probably shut down any moment. <laughs> you see <laughs> so, what he's going through for this video. <laughs> and uh, so when I arrive home the car will have, I don't know, 10 miles remaining, which means like 3%. That's plenty, yeah. I think so. Okay, talk to you later. Chester is at higher altitude than my home in Somerset. So on the way home, very little energy was used. The miles remaining were dropping so slowly that I decided to drive to Milltown to deliver the last polo shirt to Dory. This is the destination that I had to skip in the morning due to time pressure and rolled home actually to the Franklin Municipal Complex to plug my car. It is only about a mile from my house, it's free and I needed to walk anyway. So I made it to the charging station. What is interesting that both my cell phone has 3% and the car has 3%. I'm surprised that it still works, but hey, you know, I think it was a great day. I delivered all t-shirts, transferred the flag. 294 miles on single charge with this 2017 Chevy Bolt. So the range would be um, 304 miles, which is quite amazing. Talk to you later. 
So that's it for today. I would like to thank Tom Alagoni from Plugin America and Tracy Woods from Sustainable Maplewood for supporting our organization. I would like to thank all members of Central Jersey Electric Auto Association as well as all other EV advocates for helping us to promote sustainable transportation. Please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye.